Hello guys, I continue presenting to you my newest course design patterns in Laravel and as usual a few free videos on YouTube are published from newest course. So topic of today is builder pattern which has two lessons in this course. So the course is structured in a way that we take a look at how we can use design patterns in the app folder of our application and then we dive deeper into the core of Laravel and see how design patterns are used inside of Laravel in the vendor folder in the core. So Builder is present in both sections, how we use them and how Laravel uses that internally. So let's start from our practical examples, how we use Builder pattern daily without even probably recognizing that. So see that code? It's a typical eloquent or query builder code, which is guess what? query builder example. This is a builder pattern. So builder works in a way that you have an object and then you build the object by using method after method and every method transforms the original object. So this line returns the updated user class object this one adds another condition and then returns the user object itself. And then finally, some of the methods of that object return other result than the object itself. So this is how you're building the eloquent object. And this is how it is implemented in the framework itself. So where on the query builder perform some operation with this query and then return this. This is an object itself of the same class. So whenever you see return this in almost any PHP class, this is a candidate for builder pattern. Another Laravel example is mail message. We're building mail message by creating a class object and then adding more and more methods with parameters like greeting, line, action, and stuff like that. So that is also a builder pattern. So greeting method returns the updated mail message class object. Internally, it's a class simple message and it has this greeting just assigning the property and then return this. Similarly, action also updates the properties and return this. And now let's take a look at the second lesson about builder, which is how it is used internally in the vendor of Laravel, for example, in the view. So view with is also internally a builder pattern. So you're building a view object. This is a view helper, which makes it even easier to use. But internally, illuminate view has with and then returns this. Another example is builder in validation rules. Some validation rules are also chainable. So you have rule dimensions and then chain max width, max height and ratio, for example, for images. Internally, that rule dimension looks like this. Adds constraint, adds more constraint and returns this. So yeah, these are just a few examples of how Laravel framework uses builder pattern quite often in the framework in the core that allows you as a framework user to chain the methods in this convenient way. So in a way, we're kind of spoiled by Laravel. So Laravel is using a lot of design patterns internally so that we don't have to build them manually. A lot of so-called Laravel magic that we're used to and that makes our lives easier in the controllers and in our typical Laravel classes is actually some kind of design pattern under the hood in the framework of Laravel. So this is probably why design patterns are not that popular in Laravel in general. And I've been tweeting about it that Laravel developers are mostly consumers of design patterns, not creators and implementers of those. And in many cases, we don't even realize that we use some kind of design patterns, like in case of builder. Typically, a developer needs to get into design patterns when they need to build some kind of framework, package, or something that other would use in the future. And you don't know exactly how they would use that. And you need to make your code architecturally flexible by using a lot of design patterns. This is one of the conclusions from this course in general. So yeah, two videos from this course free on YouTube today and yesterday, and the link to the full course will be in the description below. If you have any questions about design patterns, this topic is very debatable generally online. We can, as usual, discuss something in the comments below. And see you guys in other videos.